very good morning students um, today we are going to discuss about design of synchronous sequential circuit this is a first problem um, here we are given with a state diagram we have to design using the jk flip flop okay first we have to count the number of steps this is the first step so number of states or n is equal to 4 so we can find the number of flip flops required based on this formula or the number of bits directly is here number of bits used are 2 hence number of flip flops required are 2 in either way we can calculate the number of flip flops required okay then we have to find out uh, first form of state table or we can call it as transition table so this is a given problem as i said already we have two bits correct so we need two present state so q1 and q2 are the two present states so write the possible combination of these two present states so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now we are going to find out the next state with the help of this state diagram uh, when x is equal to 0 is what when x is equal to 1 is what for that we have to check only the tail end of uh, everything correct so first we will take this present state 0 0 so that will come here so when x is equal to 0 what is the next state x is equal to 1 what is the next state this is what we are going to discuss now for that first we will see only the tail end here we have one tail end another tail end we should not see the arrow head okay this is external input x is equal to 0 okay so when x is equal to 0 where it goes to double zero when x is equal to one this is x value correct when x is equal to one the next state is zero one see first when x is equal to zero the same states only correct so zero and then the next state is x zero zero correct similarly see when x is equal to one the next tail end where it moves zero one okay so i have to put here zero and one this tells me when x is equal to 0, the next state is double 0. When x is equal to 1, the next state is 0, 1. Okay. Similarly, we have to move for the next present state 0, 1. So, 0, 1 is here. Again, we have to check only the tail end here. See, when x is equal to 1, it goes to the same state 0, 1. When x is equal to 0, it makes the another tail end here. Correct. So, should not see the arrowhead. Keep that in your mind. Okay, when x is equal to 0, it moves to the next state 1, 0. So, that is what I am going to put here. When x is equal to 0, it goes to 1, 0. Correct? And then, when x is equal to 1, it maintains or it is in the same state 0, 1. Okay? Uh, then the third present state is 1, 0. For 1, 0, again, we have to go for this one. Here I have one tail end. I have to see this one only, correct? Okay, another tail end. This tail end tells you when x is equal to 1, what is the transition? 1, 1, correct? When x is equal to 0, what is the transition? It goes to 1, 0. That is what I have to put here. When x is equal to 0, here it is 1, 0, correct? And then when x is equal to 1, the next state is, it goes to 1, 1, correct? So the next state is 1. 1 okay then the last state is 1 1 okay for this 1 1 see here again and again i'm seeing only the tail end correct this is its tail end and the tail end correct so when x is equal to 0 it moves to 1 1 when x is equal to 1 it goes to double 0 that is our inference from this uh, state diagram correct when x is equal to 0 it goes to the next state 1 1 correct and then When x is equal to 1, see here the when x is equal to 1, the next state is 0, 0. Okay. Like this, we have to first form the first form of state table or transition table, which tells you uh, for the different external input how the present state makes a transition to the next state. Okay. Then um, our aim is to find a flip flop input. Correct. For that, we have to form the original state table. So, we already formed the first form of a state table or transition table. From this, I have to form the state table. Correct. The state table contains generally 
external input and present state if external input is available correct so it's good always to have the external input in the msb part so that will be helpful in many cases okay then the next column is next state the next column is flip flop input as i have used two jk flip flop i have j1 k1 as well as j2 k2 correct and then see when x is equal to 0 this is the first half x is equal to 0 second half is um, second half is x is equal to 1 see here x is equal to 1 so very simple if we um, include the external input in the msb part the uh, easiest part is see here uh, q1 q2 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 combination see here 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 combination when x is equal to 0 what is the next state what is the next state i just copy this column to the first four row correct so when x is equal to 1 what are the next states the next four is to be filled with this okay so now i'll get here as a zero zero correct i'll take this for, for x is equal to zero next state correct then one zero clear the next state is also one zero okay so one zero then one one okay fourth row is one one so i have filled now four rows for x is equal to 0 see here for x is equal to 0 i have filled the next state i just copy these things now for when x is equal to 1 these four rows are to be filled correct i am taking just these four rows and filling here clear so what i get here now uh, 0 1 the next states are 0 1 and then again also 0 1 0 1 and then the third one is 1 1 see here again is 0 0 correct so like this i have to fill the next state to find out flip flop input um, we need the excitation table of jk flip flop so we know the jk flip flop excitation table based on this i am going to fill this one so for that to find out j1 k1 i have to take the present state of q1 correct i just highlight here so that uh, mm, understand so okay so q1 and you have to consider q1 of t plus 1 this is the next state correct to find out j1 k1 see here 0 0 what is for 0 0 0 x so i'll write this here 0 and then x then for the second row uh, present state and next state are 0 1 correct so 0 1 means 1 x correct see here 0 1 means the jk in value is 1 x uh, similarly here 1 1 what is for 1 1 the present state is 1 next state is 1 here for the 1 1 the j and k values are x and 0 so, correct x 0 then again 1 1 the same correct x 0 so i copy like this now i have completed for the remaining uh, q1 and q1 of t plus 1 also correct then i have to find out j to k2 uh, for that i have to consider q2 okay just highlight with uh, uh, some other color mm. so i have to use q2 and q2 t plus 1 to find out j to k2 correct q2 is equal to 0 q2 of t plus 1 that is present state is 0 next state is 0 so here you have to check it uh, this is where um, okay q of t and q of t plus 1 0 0 what is the value you are getting 0 x so i can put here as 0 x correct then the next row 1 0 is the present state and next state for 1 0 for 1 0 what is the jk value x and 1 so x and 1 correct similarly for 0 0 we know that it is 0 x okay so same manner i am going to complete this one um, for 1 1 it is x 0 for 0 1 it is 1 x 
next input is 1 1 1 1 is x 0 and then for 1 1 again it is uh, x 0 last one is 1 0 so 1 0 means what is the value x 1 so x 1 okay now i got j1 k1 j2 k2 with the help of the k map uh, we have to get the expression uh, for these input variables okay so it's a three variable input variable along with external input so we have to go for three variable k map so this is a k map for j1 k1 j2 and k2 i'm going to fill the values of j1 so for that i first take 0 1 double x 4 4 values because it is each row it is having 4 cells no so I will take 4 values 0 1 double x so usually we don't fill 0 in the k map it is understood correct so here 0 here I will get 1 and then uh, third value should be filled in fourth cell remember that one so that will be easy for you without writing the min terms to fill the k map okay then double 0 double 0 x x here 1 x and then here another x okay like this we have to fill all the uh, values of k1 j2 and k2 okay now i have filled k1 similarly j2 k2 see here for j2 k2 i take um i take first four zero x zero x how will you fill the zero x zero x here it is uh, zero and then here you will get x then 0 x correct then the next four is 1 triple x so i'll fill here 1 then x then here also x and here also x correct then k2 k2 for k2 also see here we have x1 x0 correct first four is x1 x0 for that it is x and then here it is 1 and then x 0 then here x double 0 1 so where you get next 0 is here 0 here also 0 so you will get 1 here correct so now i group for these terms then see here so 1 is our gain don't carry as a helping so i will make it as a pair correct and here one don't carry is helping so i'll make it as a pair again for this one three don't cares are helping to make it as a quad correct and then for this one i'll combine with the don't care and here there is no other uh, way will have a single cell grouping then we have to write expression for all uh, j1 uh, k1 correct for j1 is equal to so what is the value for j1 Oh, for j1 um, k x is common for these two cells in this group and then q2 is common so you will get this as uh, x dash okay and then q1 not q1 q2 is common clear then k1 k1 is equal to another pair another pair x q2 correct x q2 clear then j2 j2 is equal to uh, we'll get x clear yeah? because uh, x only is common for all uh, here x11 one, x only one is common for all the cells in this group here yeah? x dash q1 dash for k2 k2 equal to um, x dash q1 dash we have x dash q1 dash correct plus um, we have another uh, grouping which is a single cell grouping where we will get x q1 q2 correct x q1 q2 okay for these four expressions we have to draw the logic diagram using flip flop okay that we will discuss now okay these are the four things for this expression i am going to draw um, a logic diagram okay now see here I have here uh, one flip flop as it is a, uh, having two bit. So I need two JK flip flop. Either we can draw it vertically or horizontally. Okay. So the inputs are J1, K1, and J2, 
K2 both needs clock pulse so I draw uh, clock pulse and uh, here it is having Q1 and this is your Q1 dash and Q2 and Q2 dash okay for the input J1 it is X dash Q2 so both are in AND operation so first I have to put a AND gate correct this one is J1 so first input is X dash another one is Q2 okay then K1 is X Q2 so again these two are in AND operation so I put an AND gate so give it input this one is X another one is Q2 correct so either we can connect these Q2 together here okay uh, then uh, another thing is J2 J2 is X so directly connect this X here clear then K2 K2 is having two terms see here X dash Q1 dash plus X Q1 Q2 for this one on AND gate correct so for this one on AND gate where the inputs are X dash and Q1 dash another AND gate which is having three input correct see here X Q1 Q2 so first one is X another one is Q1 Q2 okay both terms are connected to your R gate correct then it is given to K2 so see here X Q1 Q2 given to K2 so exactly this is a diagram but here uh, we have to uh, tell that x is external input and q1 q2 or nothing but um, this is q2 it is not q2 this is q2 correct and the q1 q2 or nothing but the things tapped from the output of flip flop uh, 1 and 2 correct so to show that one only we can connect this q2 is coming from here so I, I can connect this Q to here okay it is not possible for all the connections uh, to take from this side correct so few connections I can give so this is uh, Q to I have given and X correct so this is your X no see here X I am connecting here correct for X dash so X dash is nothing but inverted and I am giving connection here okay and then Q1, it is to be connected from Q1 to here, correct? Q1 is to be connected here, okay? So, it looks messy. So, so this is enough to give a few connections, um, which is to understand that the Q1, Q2 are nothing but the output of JK flip-flop and only one external input X, okay? This is a block diagram for your uh, sorry logic diagram for the given sequences i could okay thank you